Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So, I am going to do a bloom on a tile. These are 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter tiles. And I'm using the Boom Gel Stain and um, my cell activator is either Amsterdam or Holcroft paint mixed with Flow Troll, which I'm going to just add a tiny little bit more because I haven't used it for a day or so and I find it thickens itself back up again and works better when it's nice and got some fresh stuff added to it. So this, I started doing one about 10 minutes ago and I can tell you now, the video I'm saving for the bloopers because it, the tile fell off, everything was flinging everywhere and it was a complete utter mess. And I, I don't know why that happened, but yeah, everything was going wrong. So first, untinted, um, semi, low sheen, low sheen house paint, white, sorry. So white low sheen house paint. So that is my pillow, which I might be using too much, I don't know. After my last little thing happened, I'm a little bit flustered. I don't know what was happening, but everything was falling apart on me. So we are using, this is ring neck blue. So all these paints are named after um, birds in, well, no, not all of them, but this is, this is Willy Wagtail Blue. This, I mean, Willy Wagtail Black. This is another local bird that we have here in Australia. So my surface is slightly uneven and it keeps wanting to tilt. I think it's the tub that actually bows in the middle a little bit. And so I'm putting the silver on top of the black because I find it actually gives me a really nice charcoal colour. So the black and the silver mix and it makes this really shimmery charcoal. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it so it doesn't go everywhere. And this one here is the Native Violet Purple. And this is Holcroft Titanium White mixed with Floetrol, about four to one. It was three to one, but I, I find I had to add more to it to make it more what I want. So I'm just going to hold this tile slightly on this angle so it comes back to the center. I've been trying to get some tubs that are low enough that you can see everything but still have high enough sides to protect everything um, and yeah some haven't been that easy so now we're going to blow on it I know it looks a little bit like a bit of a hot mess but Usually once I spin it, it turns out. Probably this side a little bit too much of a mess. But we will work it all out. So, getting lots of nice cells. I'm going to start spinning. Okay doing okay but I, I think I blew it slightly off so I'm getting more of this muddy area and not as much of the cells but I'm going to spin it a little bit more firmer and see if I can get some of that mud off. Okay. 
Okay. Try one more time. So each time I'm spinning it, start paint is coming off, but not as much of the muddy side as I'd hoped. Now it's this part here. I'm going to go again. But if I go too much, I think I'm just going to lose whatever I've got. Sorry if my head's in the camera. Alright, it, it's improving a little bit. So I'm going to see if I can go one another time again. See if I can get a bit more happening. Whoops. Sometimes spinning is a little bit... I need a slightly higher Lazy Susan. This one's a little bit low. So that spin wasn't so good. I hit the bottom of the tub when I'm spinning sometimes. Okay, so that's as good as I'm going to get on this one, I think. All this area through here is good. I've just got a little bit of much of a, a cloudiness in the other parts. But I can tell you now, it looks better than um, Mr. Mr. Here on the side, where everything just went wrong. <laughs> I'm... Don't feel like I'm having the best evening with this tonight. It started off well and then started going bad. So I'm going to pause you and bring you down. So there we go. I'll come right in here. and So it's often hard to see, but that silver and the black has made a really nice charcoal shimmer. But that's looking all right. Yeah, it's just a shame about this side bits that have gone a little bit. Um, they just didn't get the color. I, I didn't blow right on it. Okay, so. Oops. Focus. So I'm going to do another one. So I will um, pause it. Okay, so, here we are again. Uh, I can tell you now, something has it in for me tonight because everything I touch, it's just, everything's just falling apart on me or dropping my spinner in the paint at the bottom. I have, n oh, and that. I just use my flow troll bottle instead of my house paint bottle. I, I do not know what is going on. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's probably me not thinking properly, but... So, we'll try again. I think I'm going to need some paper towels ready just for the next, the next mess that I am positive is going to happen. <clears throat> and I'm going to dirty my clothes because that's just what's happening today. So, house paint as the base. <sighs> so I feel a little bit flustered now because I feel like everything's just not working. I got to lift the tile up and the whole 
spinner comes off and then it falls down into the paint. So, let's try this again. So, glue at the bottom. Then a bit of black. Then the silver. <laughs> if, if I mess this one up, I'm gonna have a break for the evening. Then the purple. Then the white, and it's starting to slip off the tile again. So it's as I add more weight into it, it seems to want to move. So I'm just trying to bring it down to the middle. Now let's hope I can do the blowing part properly. So here we go with the blower. Hair dryer. That's looking a little bit more promising. So I'm just going to let it settle slightly and then I'll spin. And hopefully this will work out and then I won't be so disappointed with my evening. <laughs> okay, here we go. Another one. I try not to spin it because sometimes I try and stop it and I end up putting my hand in the canvas, I mean in the tile. So that's looking better. I think one more, just to make this come off the edge a bit more, should do it. But I say that and then I spin it another time, so we'll see. I think I will go one more. Definitely messy, this is. Okay. Now that's looking a lot better. Still not as good, so even though my first one had a lot of colour on one side and the other, I still think my first one has actually turned out the best of all. And these can be sometimes hard to see unless you get them in the, real, the, the right type of light. I'm just thinking whether one more would actually make it better or not. It may actually make this lot just go to the edges a little bit more. So we'll try one more without doing it over. Don't know if that was heavy enough. Sometimes I try and spin it too hard and I end up flipping the tile, which is what makes the big mess. Yeah, no, that, that's good. I think I'm going to leave it like that. If I fuss too much, I will... I know I would do something wrong. So pausing it. 
So here we go, much better. It's got really cool lacing all around this side and all the way to that side. So the ring light's going to get in the way, but see how the silver's gone a nice charcoal-y silver colour? Um, it's because I put it over the top of the black. And we've got lots of cool cells all happening down through here. Goes a little bit light on the sides, but that's that kind of good. It makes it look a little bit like um, the edges are a bit more watercoloured. But overall, this one has turned out good. So I may continue. Fantastic colours. Sorry about the ring light. There we go. Beautiful. So, there is this one. And I'm going to pause it and I'm going to do a black and red. Okay, so I have the house paint down, put the new tile on, and now I'm going to put the black down as the base. Hopefully that stays in place. Yep, that's just a bubble. And now the red. Wonder if I should have put some silver in this one too. I won't now because if I was I should have done it in between the other colors so I'm going to actually use a black cell activator I'm just adding a little bit of flow troll to it first so this is um, Amsterdam lamp black and flow troll mixed now it still feels a little bit thick. So, I was hoping for one that is got a nice black background with red over the top of it and then having the nice black spiderweb lacing going through that. So I'm going to do one and a half again spoons. I don't know how big these spoons are. I just got them cheap at the clearance um, aisle. So now I've got to try and blow this correctly. So this is going to give me a dark center again, I think. Yeah, I believe it's going to give me a pretty dark center. Cool. Got some colors in that center. That's what I needed. Okay, now for the spin. Alrighty. So I find I always have to spin a few times. There's 
one area I would like to get off. I don't know how much of it I'm going to get off, which is this corner. It's just not going out to the edges as good as the other ones are. So we'll try again. Ah, that was never going to spin anything off. Yeah, it's not moving very well, that one corner. It doesn't seem to be anything in there stopping it from moving. It might just be misbehaving, so I'll try again. No, no. Your fingers start getting slippery and then your spin doesn't work. But you don't want to spin it off its axis either. Okay, so that's getting there a little bit more. So each time I'm spinning it, I am actually getting more of it off. But this is all doing quite well. Sometimes you wish you could just spin one side. Okay. Yeah, so it may move a little bit more, but I don't think it's going to move much more. <clears throat> Sorry, I hope the spinning doesn't make you dizzy on camera. So I think that's as good as I'm going to get it. I, I'm not 100% keen on that corner, but it's not um, too bad. Overall, it's actually looking quite good. The red is still relatively red. Um, the white and the black lacing are absolutely stunning. So I'm going to take my glove off because I don't need it now. And then I can hold the camera proper. So we'll bring you down. So, here we go. Yeah, so this is looking pretty amazing. Lacing in this is stunning. Just this one little corner which just looks a little bit like a, a cloud. I was hoping to have more lacing all over the whole thing, but... I can suppose I can handle one little bit. So this is the whole thing. Looking pretty cool if I do say so. So yeah, this is the 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter tiles using boom gel stain pillow paint. So pillow paint as the base or house paint as the pillow at the bottom boom gel stain as the color and either Holcroft titanium white or Amsterdam lamp black as the cell activators and that's it so the only mixing I have to do is for the cell activator which is the white or the black that goes on the top super easy if you want to do um, blooms but don't want to go to the hassle of buying all different products um, you just get boom gel and it works really really well so I'm quite happy with it they come in different colors you can get little I get this little multi-pack which has three different colors um, or you can get the bigger ones and yeah absolutely fantastic heaps of fun and you have good days and bad days with the spinner and it's not the paint's fault it's the spinner and myself <laughs> excellent Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three tiles being made. I've got more colours and I'm buying more. So um, we'll see more, more as they arrive. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, click um, all on the bell, share my videos, leave comments, like. And yeah, most of all, let me know what you think. So happy to have everyone around. 
Have a great day. Bye.